Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome to a new RimWorld colony. So you may have guessed on the way in that this particular colony is going to be based on the Rim of Madness mods. So if you're not familiar with this, this is a series of mods that provides this themed conversion to the Lovecraft mythos. This includes things like cults, human sacrifice, cosmic horrors, uh, hostile factions, and a really interesting industrial age furniture expansion that really kind of completes the ambiance. So if you've taken a look at this set of mods before, there's a couple that I'm not using. I'm not using the Elder Things mod, which provides another playable race because I'm going to be playing as humans. And I also did not include the Arachnophobia mod. It's neat, but when I played with it some in testing, I don't know, I just didn't think it worked well for me. It's also common that people use the Realistic Darkness mod, but I'm not going to do that because it makes the game too dark to record. So that's less interesting. The focus on this colony will be on cults and human sacrifice, and summoning dead gods, and other cool things like that. I'll probably still use caravans and stuff like that if it looks like a good idea, but we're going to stay focused on the human, undead, eldritch element. I've actually used this set of mods before, and it went really poorly. Please don't watch them, they're terrible. Since then, the storyteller has been re-implemented, and I'm not going to go with any crazy biomes here. When I tried either jungle or ice sheet, I either had too many animals or not enough animals, and this made all the events just go weird. And I was spending so much time dealing with the biome that I wasn't able to really deal with the cult stuff. So I'm just going to do something reasonably standard. The beginning won't be all that much different because it's still an extreme colony, but pretty quickly we'll be able to start doing interesting things. So I think that's it for now. Let's go ahead and let's get started. And we'll set up our own editor. So I'm going to be doing Lovecraft Extreme. Since this is community written and not necessarily done, we may need to play with this. I reserve the right to adjust it in the future, but we'll discuss all that in camera. Uh, Sure. And let's see here. I'm thinking maybe Boreal Forest, something like that. So we want some animals. Um, there is interesting events and different consequences for having animals on the map, so you'll see those when we get to them. Let's see, Boreal Forest is interesting because it gives you some challenges in the winter without being ridiculous. Temperate Forest, nah. Let's see, do we have a Boreal Forest nearby? Small hills, I like large hills. Granite, slate, and marble. Okay, I think this will be good. I'm going to set this to the larger medium size. I think this gives you more space to do interesting things. If you go with the larger sizes, they get really laggy late game. Well, they get laggy on my computer, which it's not a potato, but it's not that awesome. So yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll do that. So I already went through and kind of created some colonists. So here's what we have going on. As always, I kind of roll three reasonably competent colonists to begin with. If you are hardcore and you go into extreme games with just randomly generated crap, then more power to you. I want to make sure that an on-camera game has a chance to survive. If we fail, that's fun too, but you know. So I've got this guy who's kind of a brawler and grower, then the miner who had like a thousand points, so I kind of pared these down. So he's going to be kind of my animal mining guy, and then a paramedic, which has a bunch of points in medicine, which isn't ideal to me, but that's okay. And I put a few points into cooking and intellectual. She kind of sucks. So there are some extra traits that are added. We have an Oath Taker, which is sort of an unbreakable contract returned from the dead to serve the king in yellow. So I have no idea what this does. This is all new to me. This should be really cool. So I'm going to keep putting Kedu into dangerous situations so he gets killed, just to see what happens. And there's another one here that's reanimated where they've risen from the dead. And again, I don't know what the implications of this is, but having my doctor slash researcher being this like eldritch undead scary person seemed, I don't know, fun. Let's see here. There's no relationships here. For equipment, do we want to adjust things? Kitties, yeah, not so much. We're not taking kitties. Should I take an animal? Yeah, let's take an animal. So I used... I went with labs last time, didn't I? What would be fun here? If I'm going to take something, it's going to be something useful. So, Oh, a dark young? <laughs> um, 
that's too OP. The dark young are scary. <laughs> yeah, we won't do that. How about huskies? A husky would be nice. Sure. Let's give ourselves a chance to actually start a husky family here. And let's take a female husky. So beyond that, is there anything here that I want to change? I don't think so. This looks fine. Alright, here we go. Yes, I'm ready. The mod list is in the descriptions. It's more or less the same as I usually play with. It's just quality of life mods. Nothing else game changing. Alright. And landing. Alright. So first off, we're just going to go ahead and unforbid the entire map. Great. Oh, jeez. The learning helper and stuff turned back on. Hold on. Learning helper. Let's go. Pawn red letter. Let's see. All tame. Um, yes, and since I'm a filthy American, I'll put this on Fahrenheit. It's really fun playing on Kelvin, by the way, having a science background, but... Okay, this looks right. Okay, so, let's take a look at our map. We have a lot of swamp. That's... crummy. That's really crummy. This is a lot of swamp! This is gonna make for some interesting thematic stuff. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. So what do we have over here? Just dirt. I sort of like the idea of backing my colony into the marsh, because that makes it really hard to attack. So I could actually build it right here. Are there any steam vents nearby? I don't need a steam vent, necessarily. But boy, does it make things a lot more straightforward. There aren't. Look at this distribution. We've got two down here. Nothing in the middle at all. This is the closest one, and then there's like five right up here. One, two, three, four, five. Woof. Okay. Well, this is going to be a challenge. Or should I build my colony up here? I miss this nice little ready-made building. It does give me a lot more space to expand. You know what? Let's do that. Let's... Should we claim this little thing to spend the first night in? Nah. Let's back ourselves right into this mountain to begin our base. That's a good place to go. So let's go ahead and let's just put our sleeping spots down over here. Just so we've got a location for them. This needs to be chopped down. And let's put our animal bed in here. Fine. Oh yeah, so let's talk about some of this stuff. So some of the extra things we get are, let's see here. The linkable pews. This is cool. We'll be using this to make our... Um, uh, I don't want to call it a sanctuary because that's totally wrong. <laughs> our cult area thing. These look really neat. You can kind of make these long cool things. There's gas street lamps. These look pretty neat. Uh, the gas lamps are pretty cool too. The chandeliers and candelabras are just awesome. They're so cool. They're just great. These do use wax. That's something else that we're going to render out of animals. So that's something that we'll need to pay attention to. Not right away. I'll probably start with the regular standing lamps. But once we get going, we're going to transition to mood lighting. Then the modular tables and so on. Let's see here, in production... No. Where's the other new stuff here? Um... Miscellaneous. Yeah, here it is. A Forbidden Knowledge Center. Yes. This is a table that will build to research cult stuff. All kinds of nasty things. It does result in sanity loss, which is fun. Sanity loss is really interesting. That's got all kinds of interesting things. Oh yeah, stats. Let's take a look at these, because these change too. So, oh, these haven't all appeared yet. Okay. Cult-mindedness will show up on this, but it's not here. That's interesting. I don't know why it's not there. Well, we'll go into that in a little bit. So let's get started over here. Let's create just our standard stockpile, whatever. We'll create it here-ish, I guess. We can roof it in without a lot of trouble. Um, Yeah, that'll be fine. And then we want our food to be kept indoor for a while. So let's go ahead and let's set this up. Oh yeah, the strange stuff. Okay, this is kind of cool. So when you kill the nasty cosmic horrors, you butcher them. And you get weird leather that's really interesting. And it's based on which cosmic horror it was. And then you get strange meat. And you can use this to make food or kibble, but it causes sanity loss. And that's bad. Even in your animals, that's really bad. So it's really cool though. Okay, let's take a look at work here. 
So, everyone gets to fire fight. I rolled a lot of pyromaniacs trying to set this up, and let me tell you, we're not doing that. For the beginning, I'm going to use Hall Plus turned on. If you haven't watched this series, this sort of gives you a priority Hall task, just to kind of keep showing things here. Uh, hall urgently, and what this will do is, is everyone will drop whatever they're doing in order to come haul this stuff. So sometimes you have really important things you need taken care of, so. Everyone flicks switches. Warden. Uh, I don't have a very good warden. Let's just set someone up here. He'll be our animal person. Let's see here. How about you be our cook? And let's see here. K2 is our hunter. Let's turn you guys up to hunting for the moment. And both of you guys are pretty good at construction. We'll just turn you both on for that. Growing. Uh, mining, obviously. Set these at three. Plant cut, three... I'm just going to turn these off so I don't get confused. And... What should we do? Who do we want to focus on what? Does this matter? Okay, so Benway is going to deal with animals and construct and mine. And we'll change this a little later. And K2 is going to warden, which will never happen. Grow. And then construct. And then let's set Hall up with him. And let's set Jennings up on paramedic, or on cleaning. Okay, that will do for right now. We'll get that changed as things go on. Okay, K2. Where did that knife go? Equip the knife. And Jennings and Beltway, are either of you guys any good at this? Five for shooting and four for shooting. All right, so you get the rifle. The bolt action rifle is actually a pretty effective weapon. Where's that pistol? There it is. Okay, well. Haul away. I don't see the flag for Ancient Danger here, so that is interesting. This is probably going to be our Ancient Danger. Okay, so I think we'll box this area in, and this will be our base. That gives us a little bit of protection on these two sides. Now watch, all the enemies are going to spawn from over here. We have a lot of wolves and stuff around. We're going to keep an eye on that. Arctic wolves? Pretty. Look at these guys. Aren't they adorable? Now I wish I'd brought one. That's okay. And what else should we do? Oh, who's our handler? Our handler is Benway. So we want to go ahead and set him up for hauling. I guess not right away. Let's get things going first. Actually, you know what? Let's turn on obedience at least because then he'll tag along. So you see how much this slows them down. This is great for kiting. You stay on your side of the marsh. It's awesome. It helps a lot. And... What else do we want to do here? I'll deal with my home zone manually a little later. I'm not going to deal with that right now. Look at all these structures. This is going to be exciting. I wonder what these things are. I love exciting things. Okay, let's get a little bit of zone stuff here. Let's get a roof built over this so I don't forget about it. Let's get some walls up. We'll just use wood to begin with because... Apparently, I like to live dangerously. Sure. And we'll just pop a wooden door here. There. That's fine. That'll work well. Okay, good enough. I see some berries around. We'll deal with that in the near future. Want to keep an eye on these wolves, because they're right here next to us. Yeah, all three of them. Oh, there's a fox up north, and then the two wolves. Four wolves. Oh my god. All right. Beware of wolves, people. They will wreck you. Wolves are mean. Let's get things expanded here. I like to see what's going on. Alright. Oh, and let's get our schedules up here. I use a looser schedule than a lot of people do. And... I don't know. I just do. So... I don't know. There. Good enough. And you guys are going for a walk. Fine, whatever. Pay no attention to the Arctic Wolf right there. Or his buddy the Timber Wolf right there. Just saying, it's all good. They will eat you. It'll be very frustrating. Let's get these trees out of my little storage area. Okay, whatever you guys are doing, hurry up. Time's a wasting. And it looks like you all headed out to do hauling in the middle of the night. That's fine, whatever. 
You do you, man. Now, we'll get the cult starting event in the near future. And actually, it seems like the first couple encounters are sort of scripted, so I know what's coming, but I won't say anything yet in case you're not, you know, again, familiar with it. Let's get just some basic walls up here. Just really basic stuff, just to kind of get things going. These will do absolutely nothing except help funnel bad guys around this direction. Okay. That'll be fine. Actually, I don't care about that. Never mind. I'll probably connect here-ish. Is that where I want my primary exit to be? Boy, there's not even a good primary exit. They're all bad. This is funny. Oh, this is going to be hilarious. Minor break risk. Deal with it. How much stuff is still scattered around? Quite a bit, it looks like. Yeah, thanks for all coming over and caring like one meal, guys. Really stepping up to the plate. Well, if I put my exit... Where am I? I'm further towards the north of the map. So let's put the exit down here. That gives me some marsh right outside the walls, too. And I can play with that. Yeah, let's do that. So let's just run some more walls. Yes, building with wood. Terrible idea. But that's how we're going to start. So, unfortunately, we kind of get what we get in the beginning. Oh, you know what? Let's have the entrance be here. That'll be annoying. Keep an eye on the wolf. What's the wolf doing? Hunting squirrel. Okay. No big deal. Come on, guys. Get some stuff done. I see some berries right here. Let's get all these cut. Wow, that's a lot of berries. Good, that'll definitely help us right in the beginning. Very good. Oh, that's right. You're going to train Blondie. That's fine. Go ahead and do that. Obedience. Excellent. So who did I say he was going to stick with? He can stick with Benway. And he should have started with him. Okay. So, having him go with on hunting and stuff can just be invaluable. When you get revenge or something like that, they can provide you with just that little bit of damage you need to put it down, or at least to get some help over to you. It's just, like I said, it's super important. Okay, let's continue our wooden box then. Let everyone harvest the berries. When you're done with that, come chop some wood down right here. This will be fine. And then we'll fill in the rest of our box. Yeah, that'll work fine. So what I desperately want to do is have some stuff set up before we get our first visit from an unfriendly faction. Which can be pretty mean if you're not ready for it. Not that I've, you know, done this several times and not been ready. You know, someone might do that. I don't know who. Here, throw some beds in. Fine. Yeah, I have no meal source or anything, but that's okay. Like I said, we'll take care of that. Okay, so you guys cut down some more trees pretty, please. Take down these beds. Excellent. Well, not excellent. Awful. Nice. Real nice. Really, uh, really stepping up your game here. That's fine. It's a new colony. We're busy. Okay, let's get some more walls up. Boy, I hate building with wood, especially in a map like this. Oh, man. What a terrible map to be building with wood. And then we'll put our entrance here for no particular reason. And I think we'll box this area in as our initial kill zone. This is not big enough for a final base. I'm going to have to expand this numerous times, but... Like I said, at the moment, we just desperately need something to keep out the baddies. New lovers already! Beltway and Jennings. <gasps> That's adorable. Okay, well, we'll get a bed set up for you, although I can't offer you any privacy at the moment. I'm sorry, that's a little creepy, I know. But that's all I have. We have a lot of berries here. This is great. You never start with berries like this. 
it's just so nice to have that right off the bat. Just that little bit to kind of get you going. All right. So now... How was I saying we're going to do this? Let's take a look at it. where are we going to put our wind turbines and stuff. So these will fit over here until our base gets bigger. So I can use this area for turbines and for planting. Okay, that'll work. Let me just put some orders down here. These are 5 by 17. So if I have to put in two, that would be this big. Yeah, let's do something like that. So let's go ahead and let's just get our planting going right away because otherwise we're going to get behind the game. So we're going to need... Let's see here. Let's get a good chunk of heal rig going. Which I know seems a little weird right at the beginning, but it's pretty important. It takes a long time to grow. And we don't have anyone that has eight and growing. Okay, we're in a little bit of trouble then. There is wild heal root that grows around, and I guess we're going to have to focus on that. Yeah, alright. Well, this is definitely less than optimal. Do we have anyone close? Let's see here, growing is six. And you love growing. You're the only one set to do it. That's also your primary task. Okay, well that'll be fine. In that case, let's go ahead and I guess let's just put down a bunch of food. Let's put down some cotton so we've got that in the near future. Well, in the distant future. And we can go ahead and just do potatoes, I suppose. Potatoes are not exciting, but they're... they're good. I mean... They're still kind of your middle-of-the-road food thing. Harvest failed. Yeah, great. Thanks a lot. Oh, and let's cut the trees along here. That's something that we need to deal with. Given that this is our entrance, we're going to be walking through this all the time. And let's clear a strip along here while we're at it. Chop, chop. Let's get some of this crap out of the way. I need a dumping stockpile. Let's just throw that over here for the moment. Um, yeah, I don't know what we'll do yet. But let's go ahead and let's get these hauled. Okay. And these two. Visitors. An addiction council. That's kind of funny. Okay, how's everyone doing? Good. Get all this crap out of the way. Stone is going to be another fairly high priority. So we're going to want to switch to stone walls as soon as we can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is good. You made a shoddy bed that's supposed to be for Benway and Jennings. Benway and Jennings. And this was the awful bed, so we'll flag that one for destruction. Okay. And you're just like a dude. Addiction Council. Recovering from Joywire. Nonviolent. Oh, that's interesting. Childhood Joywire, Addiction, Non-Joywire. I like that. So that means that you went through all the trouble of getting a Joywire stuck in your brain, and then later decided that you wanted to go through all the trouble of having the Joywire taken out of your brain. Okay. Whatever works for you, man. And let's set up... Oh, okay. What should our faction be called? See, our town, as discussed. Uh... Sure. Alright. Scary town away. You're leaving, that's fine. Let's get some more berries. Just berries everywhere. I love this. This is so great. So many berries. Okay, guys, let's get some hauling done. Come on, hurry up. Okay, this is all haul urgently looks. So I've got these, and if you hit this, everyone should drop everything they're doing and come get that stuff right away. It is something that I personally tend to abuse, but I just always have these, like, plans, and I need to do them. There's another berry bush hiding over here. There is some heal root around. I'm going to leave it for the moment. 
Well, no, let's not do that. Let's harvest, and then let's make Kato do it, because he's going to have the best chance of not, you know, failing. Okay, good. And harvest. So at least I have a couple here but to begin with. Okay. Again, if you haven't watched any of my series, I love micromanaging my pawns. I just love it. Which is a little weird in a game like this that has such phenomenal scripting. But, I don't know. There we are. Here, let's have other people come and help with this. Not mine. Chop wood. There. Mad animal. A local hare. Okay. That should be fine. Where is everybody else? So Kadu's right here. You're way across the map. You guys are all way across the map. Okay. Well, let's see if Jennings can handle a rabbit all on his lonesome. This could be interesting. Alright. Destroy. Nice. Good job. I'm very proud of you. We'll just leave that there to bleed out. I don't care. Then the dog will come eat it. I don't have a way to deal with animals at the moment, so we're just not going to worry about it. Make sure everyone's in the process of not being murdered. Good, good. Yeah, we need all these trees gone on the inside. And let's set up a little bit of defenses here, just so we have some places to hide. Sure. And yes, this qualifies as a defense. It does. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's take just a minute here and get those trees taken down. And since this is our entrance, we'll get those down as well. Let's actually go ahead and let's put a wall up here just to kind of, again, focus people on their way in. Okay, this is looking okay. Still got some berries, still got some meals. Got beds for everyone, even though the couple that's in a relationship is creepily sharing with these other guys, but that's okay. It's the beginning of a colony. You guys can handle it. Why is this medicine sitting out? Don't do that. Medicine. Haul urgently. Okay. So what are our next plans going to be? We'll expand our building a bit here so I can split them up. Uh-oh. Ah, there's our obelisk. Good. Ah, oh, it's not as close as I'd hoped. So, this is the beginning of our cult. So this is our monolith. Mysterious standing upright block of stone. It's supposed to have a sound. I've never heard it. So now, they're writing in a frenzy. And starting to lose some sanity, which is cool. You can see it increases pain, but... It basically increases everything else, so it can be pretty useful to have people be slightly insane. So then they get this terrible, terrible... Um, I have looked upon all that the universe has to hold of horrors, and even the skies of spring and the flowers of summer must ever be poisoned to me. Minus 4,000. Or whatever. Bad news. They get kind of crazy. But they're going to make the grimoire that we need in order to start our cult. Because you need that grimoire in order to build the bench. Jennings is no memory of the writing that's still slightly dampened from the sweat of their labors. It's a ghastly book filled with the strange alien language that's not readily understood. The ominous looking diagrams of ritual sacrifice and spells within the tome has some colonists like, unnerved by its occult nature. Whereas others have proposed setting up a proper research center to further study the secrets held within. So now does this give me... Why is cult-mindedness not on here anymore? That's mysterious. There should be another bar here that displays cult-mindedness. That's odd. Maybe it's just because I haven't built a research bench yet. Here, can you please haul this? Let's not leave that thing laying around. Ooh, you know what? Let's set... If I can find it. Let's hide the grimoire inside because um, one of the factions will get all crazy test object. <laughs> the king in yellow. 
Oh, this is interesting. Okay. I guess we'll come across that. So where is this? Not corpses, I assume, or chunks. Or apparel. Artifacts? Grimoire of the Occult. Yes. And we'll get that to extremely important. Ideally, we want that out of sight. I don't know if that will help, but I want it out of sight anyway. Okay, let's get a little more box built up here. You guys are doing good, getting some stuff planted. And let's go ahead and let's chop down all the wood in here too. Since this is going to be our quote-unquote kill box. We don't want to give any attackers a chance to, well, do anything, frankly. Here, just build this, would you? Thank you. Get that chopped. All these chopped. Come on. Okay, and that should clear our area out enough for now. Okay then, so at this point, let's get our structure going. Extreme break risk, yes. Because that whole... Wrote the grimoire. That's fine. And paranoia. So, okay, so let's just build our building up here a little bit. Um, this isn't a big area. But we should be okay. Let's keep, uh... Risking catastrophe. Probably gonna include this area inside. So actually, let's go ahead and let's move our dumping stockpile over here. And then we'll move our stockpile stockpile outside. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll just put that here. Yeah, something like that will be fine. And I think I can rift this whole area in. And let's go ahead and let's turn off automatic home zone. Let's get this whole area homed. And let's go ahead and let's clear extraneous home spots. And that's it, right? Yes. Just so they don't get carried away with cleaning stuff. Oh yeah, no medicine. I was gonna say, hold on. A daze, yeah. It's rough, but... I understand, man. It's been weird. Psychic Soothe, oh nice. Unfortunately, you are already in a daze. Okay, let's roof this in, of course, real quick. I think all I have to do is build a door here, and that should roof it in, but just in case. Build roof area. Check. Okay, this should not be here. Get that moved, please. Thank you. And once they make this door, I will just hold that open just for the moment. Get everything hauled out of the way. Good, good. Okay, then we're gonna get some power up. We're gonna get our kitchen up and running. We'll put that here, maybe. Yeah, we'll leave ourselves a big space for it. That's fine. Hopefully you come out of your days in the near future, because we need you to do stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's get our wooden wall for the kitchen area stuck up here. That'll work well. Sure. That's fine. Yeah, looking good. Okay. Hopefully Jennings feels the need to wander back in soon. Tons of berries. I know I sound like I'm just being weird about these berries, but holy cow. Having all these berries is fantastic. Exhaustion. Yep, I know. It's not my fault. We're already midway through August. Ooh, tricky. You've collapsed. Okay, well, I guess that's good. In fact, let's get even more food spun up here. I'm not super happy about spending all this time getting things planted, but we're already fairly late in the year. Yeah, that's less good. Okay, good. She's up and doing stuff. 
Here, yeah, there we go. And if you guys then... Are you gonna haul this right away? Looks like, okay, good. And that means, okay, power time. Let's go ahead and let's get our turbines up and running. Turbines are definitely my preferred power generation strategy for early in the game. They put on a lot of power, and yeah, they require a battery, but that can be okay. And we'll play with fire, so to speak, and put that over here. And by so to speak, I mean literally playing with fire. And then, once that's up and running... Let's see here... Once that's up and running, then I'll go ahead and I'll get that set for all of our various um, cooling things and so on and so forth. Okay, we want animal corpses, but we do not want insect corpses. Oh, there we go. That's right, I forgot this got reorganized. It's going to be obnoxious with the various um, eldritch creatures that we get, the various horrors. They all end up in there, but that's okay. We're going to cut them up anyway. Yeah, I tried making strange kibble, thinking, well, at least it won't drive my colonists insane. Ah, oh, you failed. Honestly, dude. Can't wreck our stuff this early in the game. And let's go ahead and let's add our cooler. Sure, why not? Raid. Pirates. Guy with a knife. Not for long, he's not. Okay, let's just go ahead and we'll keep you guys in the home area. Oh yeah, let's set up some animal bases. So this can just be animals. No wait, I want animal base. And I will have kind of a boring animals area that will just be essentially the entire map, except that it, they'll be forbidden from going into my meal areas. At the moment though, I don't care. They can just do whatever they feel like. Here, great. And you stay in animal base, and I have everyone else restricted? Yes. So we'll just wait for them to come to us. That's fine. And while you guys are standing around, go ahead and finish chopping down all these trees. Is this grown yet? Yep. Because we don't want any of these things around. Not in the base, that's for sure. Alright, and we'll wait for him to come a little closer. Maybe he'll get eaten on the way in. Okay, and you're coming to attack us, right? Yeah, more or less. Okay, Benway. Kedu. Given that he's a melee, it doesn't really matter where I put him. Joy deprived, hungry, anxious. Well, I know you're not a happy camper, but I need you over here. Sorry. This sucks as a kill box, and I'm not sure how I'm going to expand it. Well, we'll see. We'll deal with it when the time comes. Alright. Ah, right, excellent job. Nicely done. Is this a guy I want? Holy hell! Uh, yes? Holy shit. This guy's like an ubermensch. Okay. Well... Awesome. Yeah. This is phenomenal. Hope we can recruit him. Guess we'll find out. Okay, who's my healer? Jennings, who's sleeping again. Okay, what's your... 67%, that's okay. Jennings, can you please come treat him? Oh, I need to move my medicine inside somewhere. Let's flag this for medicine, too. Just so that stays inside. Yeah, that'll be fine. Alright. And we'll build a little prison cell for him in just a second here. Actually, let's just do that right now. Here. This is a likely looking area. And... Well, I meant to put a door in. Let's do that. And we'll put a bed in, too. There. 
Okay, so this is on. Let's go ahead and let's get this turned down to freezing temperatures. So that everything stays frozen. Okay, so next up, what are we going to do? We need to get our research started. We need to get stone cutting up and running so I can replace these walls with ones that aren't going to result in a colony wipe. And hopefully get our new body recruited. But this is running a little long, so I'm going to make a cut here. I hope this looks interesting to you. I would encourage you to subscribe, please. It's just fun watching that little number go up or leave a like or whatever it is you kids do with YouTube these days. So I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.